Welcome to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where EA Sports presents the deciding game of the Western quarterfinal between the New York Rangers and the Philadelphia Flyers. I must say I'm actually impressed with the quality of the videos with this camera compared to my old one. Even the sound is a lot different in this these videos compared to the old ones. Hi and welcome to Philadelphia. I'm Jim Houston and your color commentator is Daryl Ray. And here's how the goalies match up. Ben Bisco goes head to head with Richter. Bratton wins the draw cleanly. LeClaire gets flattened by Finley. Nothing wrong with that hit. Moves it on to Popovich. Sunstrom misses the pass. Popovich passes across. Finley chips it ahead to Sunstrom. LaFontaine hits it. Richardson passes it across. McLean winds up to Richardson, to Lindros. Richter passes across to Finley. Moves in. Great hit! A delayed call against McLean. McLean gets called for elbowing. New York Rangers penalty to number 15, John McLean. Two minutes for elbowing. So will the Rangers win one nothing, or will the Flyers win one nothing? All these games are such low scoring. The ref gets ready to drop the puck. Pratt won the draw. Terry moves it ahead. It's tied. 0-0. To Bindemore. Zubris winds up. Leach gets shoved by Zubris. It was stopped by Richter. He plays the puck to Samuelson. Fine save made by Richter. Gretzky hits it. 109 left in the power play. Moves in. They can't beat him. They flat out can't beat him. Samuelson clears the puck out of his own zone. To Terrian. Philadelphia should be making a line change soon. To Windermere. Gretzky hits it. Gretzky cleared the puck. Terrian gets the puck to Van Beesbrook. Gretzky knocks down Terrian. Gretzky shot. Oh, he's getting it done. New York returns to full strength as the penalty expires. The New York Rangers zero, the Flyers zero. Graves shoved by Terrian. Last minute of play in the first period. Moves in. Terrian gets the puck to Zubis. Philadelphia will look for a good shot opportunity and a rebound here. New York won the draw. LaFontaine passes it back. Sunstrom one-timed it from the slot. To McLean, Sunstrom blasted it. A penalty has been called. At the buzzer. Cross-checking. Philadelphia penalty to number 29, Joel Otto. Two minutes for cross-checking. Sillinger gets to the circle. He'll face zero. off against LaFontaine. And that's the end of the first period. Okay, I've been so much seen that before. I've been so much seen that before. So the New York Rangers, six shots, they've got more shots in the first period than the last, than the two teams in the last game had combined in full game.
case you didn't watch the last game in the last video, Buffalo and Toronto. Buffalo won one nothing. Both teams had two shots each for a total of four shots in the whole game. Rangers are out shooting Philadelphia six two. But anyways, this was the Gretzky's last year in the NHL. This is NHL ninety nine. That was the last year Gretzky played. He retired that year. And I, I was having a debate with my buddy over who the better, who was better at their sport between Wayne Gretzky and Michael Jordan. And it's a pretty tough one. I go with Gretzky, he says Jordan, but then again, I'm a bigger hockey fan and he's a bigger basketball fan. And I did do some research and I noticed that according to the statistics, Michael Jordan's actually ranked the second best NBA player the first, I can't remember, it was one of the old time guys way back in the day, like Kareem Abdul Jabbar, or. Not, not, maybe it wasn't necessarily him, but I'm saying one of the old players. I can't remember who it was right now, but. Anyways, Wayne Gretzky, nobody has ever come close to Gretzky. Michael Jordan does have more NBA championships than Gretzky has Stanley Cups. Gretzky's got five Stanley Cups, I believe, and Jordan's got six NBA championships. That's also kind of hard to go by because it's a team thing. And, I mean, I do admit that if it wasn't for Jordan, the Bulls wouldn't have had those six NBA championships. There's no doubt in my mind because the Bulls won three years in a row with Jordan on the team. He retired for two years. They didn't win those two years. When he came back, they won three years again. So, the last six years that Michael Jordan played in the NBA, he won a championship each year. Gretzky kind of started getting towards the end of his career, getting real slow, but Gretzky holds more records than anybody in any professional sport. And not only that, but when Gretzky retired from the NHL, not only did his team retire his name, but the entire league, or his jersey, the entire league retired his jersey so no NHL player can wear number 99 ever again. You know, a lot of times sport teams will do that. Like Jordan retired. I'm guessing there's probably no Chicago Bulls player that can wear number 23 again. I'm not sure if they do that in the NBA. I imagine they probably do, but... Anyways, no NHL player can wear Gretzky's number again, which is just crazy. It's the first time I've ever heard of that. Anyway, here we go with the second period. Time now for the second period of EA Sports NHL 99. I never really liked Kretzky back when he was playing, but... Oh. Game on! Silver won the draw. This is still anybody's game. Kovalev, quick shot on goal from the neutral zone. Ben Beesburg moves it to Svoboda. Silver moves it to the blue line. Lindros to the net. To Silver. Lindros shoots! Richter moves it ahead. Finley moves it over to the wing. Towards the net. He wired that one over the glass. No, he didn't. He hit the glass and came back. That won the draw. Terrian clears the puck out of his own zone. Richter moves it on. Leclerc to the net. What a hit! To center. Leclerc starts up. Bratton hits him. The score is even. Time runs out on the penalty to follow. Moves in. This is still anybody's game. Braves hits him. To Braves. Terrian passes across. The Flyers are changing on the go. Sunstone knocks the puck away. Just two minutes. 
minutes to go. To 99. He fired it. Gretzky jars the puck loose. New York has been playing a great passing game so far in this one. Sunstrom to Gretzky. Pass intercepted. To center, Samuelson knocks the puck away. Both teams are passing well in this game. The Rangers will change on the fly. Last minute of play in the second period. To Smith. The teams are deadlocked. Codeen shoves Cairns. Smith moves it ahead. Today, only 30 seconds remaining in the period. York starts up. We have a player down on the ice. Another abdominal injury. Scabs really get up. NHL players must have. The ref gets ready to drop weak, the puck. Weak abdominals. Here we go again. The Flyers win the faceoff. Flat flattens Kovalev. Both teams are passing well in this game. That's the win. Penalty called. Penalty called for checking from behind. Philadelphia penalty to number three, Dan McGillis. Two minutes for checking from behind. They move into position for the faceoff. Philadelphia will force the power play to work hard in this outnumbered situation. And that's the end of the second period. If you have lost anything, please check with lost and found at the south entrance. So New York had a power play in the second period, and they had half the shots they had in the first period. But looking at the totals and shot totals, Rangers should win this game because they're getting more shots on goal, but that's no guarantee Philadelphia can have one lucky shot that can go in. Only three shots in two periods for Philadelphia. That's just terrible. But it's, these hockey seasons, it's so hard to do a full season because it's really not that entertaining. They, they were like high, more higher scoring games, like 5 to 4, 6 to 4, something like that. Probably a lot more interesting. But. Anyway, here we go. Time now for the third period of EA Sports NHL 99. Sillinger gets to the circle. He'll face off against LaFontaine. Over to McLean. McLean. winds up. The puck gets knocked loose. New York has really been moving the puck around well. Fine save made by Ben Beesbrook. Lindros clears the puck. Popovich moves it on to Finley. Finley was hit by Sillinger. Lindros cleared the puck. To Kovalev. The teams are deadlocked. Kovalev winds up. Philadelphia returns to full strength as the penalty expires. Popovich moves it ahead. McLean starts away. To center. Towards the net. And Beesbo stopped him. And Beesbo hangs onto the puck. Oh, how nice. The game fills up again. Okay, you know what? You saw enough of this game. I'm just going to skip right through the game because we saw two full periods run the third period. I'm not going to sit through another one. So, we'll just all just skip through the game and we'll see the score in the next video, which will be Ottawa at Boston. I hope you enjoyed part of the game. Actually, you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm just going to cancel it. The rest of the playoffs, the only games we're going to see is 
me as the Chicago Blackhawks playing against the other team because I'm not going to deal with these games freezing up anymore. I mean, it's probably seven or eight times now this happened throughout the season. So, when we get to the next Blackhawk game, we'll go ahead and see what happens. And now, if I don't make the Stanley Cup Finals, we'll still see the Stanley Cup Championship game. But other than that, from here on out, I will see these Blackhawk games. So, hope you enjoyed that game. And I'll see you in the next vi video where it'll be me against uh, the Los Angeles Kings.